Hey guys, Jacob here. Today we have another unboxing from Speedcube Shop. Um, in here is the Gan Megaminx and the Diane Tingen version 2. So, I got the Gan Megaminx because, well, a lot of people were getting it. I never really got around to getting it, but... Oh, I also got some more silicone lube because I'm running low. Um, but here they are. So, we got the Gan Megaminx and the Tengen V2. I'll do the Megaminx first. Sorry. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, got the plastic off. Alright, so this one pulls open like that. Okay. That's a very cool looking little crystal sphere they put it in. But let's see what's in here first. So, we got this little black bag. I got a few of these now. And... We got some replacement springs, some replacement, um, GES nuts, and lastly, we have a Gan Megaminx card, and then a pamphlet. So let's get into the puzzle. So here it is. First thing I notice is very light. Um, and it also has a slightly matte finish. Um, let me get another Megaminx to compare it to. So it is the same size as the Galaxy V2. Let's go on to turning. Okay. It seems very high quality. Um, and uh, ex also extremely loose. But, I'm sure there's a reason for that. So, a little bit of the lubricant is sweating out onto the outside. But, first impressions are pretty good. I might need to do a little bit of work to it, just to, you know, put my own lubricants inside it. But, not a bad first impression, to be honest. So, let's take a look at some of the pieces. So... Here's an edge. So, um, pretty standard, um, Mega Minx edge type thing. And then on the corner, as you can see, I think you can see it. Um, hang on. Focus. Uh, never mind. But there is a honeycomb pattern on the corners, not only on the base, but also the the actual block. I also notice on the corners the the tiles, like right there, they have um they have little clips that hold them in. It's pretty interesting. I've seen that on some other game cubes. But now let's get into the Tingen V2. So while the Gan Megaminx came out a while ago, um, I'm just now getting it. The Tingen V2M just came out. So a lot of people are getting it right now. And I thought I would too. Well, not because everyone else is getting it, but because I have the V1 and I really, really like it. So I want to check this out. So first, let's check out what's in this box. So, we got a pamphlet, some extra springs, we got this, this tensioning tool that they made, and then a couple of screwdrivers, one flathead and one, and one Phillips head, or this Phillips is flat, rather, and then an extra core. So let's get onto the cube. So 
So here it is. Um, I wouldn't say it's... I wouldn't say it feels really matte or glossy. Because, like, here's the V1, and it's not quite as shiny as the V1. The V1's completely glossy. But it's not quite matte either. It's a very... It's a very, um, different feel. So anyway, as far as turning goes, uh, not bad. I wasn't re really sure what to expect. So let's take a look at the pieces, because they have added some new features to the hardware. So first of all, um, now on the V1, what they did was they added these ring-shaped magnets. But on here, it seems to be the opposite. There's like, there's a ring-shaped capsule, but then the magnet inside is completely solid. There's no hole in the actual magnet. So the flathead screwdriver is to, not to adjust the tension, but to adjust these magnets on the edges because you stick it in the slot and then you actually turn it to adjust it. That is very interesting. I think GAN is starting to inspire other companies to add stuff like this to their hardware, which is not a bad thing, as not everyone can afford GAN cubes. So now let's look under the center cap. So, as you can see, along with the screw, there's, um, hang on, focus. There's this little numbered ring thingy. I'm still not quite sure what all these are, but, um, this thing, this tool is supposed to help adjust it. So... I unfortunately don't know enough about this hardware to tell you guys what exactly these do, but I might make a review in the future when I once I've learned more about it. But for now, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.